Hi, in this lecture video, I'll be doing a quick introduction to intermolecular forces and their importance and how they affect the physical states and the physical property of matters. So let's first define the term intermolecular forces. So as its name implies, inter mean between, molecular mean molecules. So these are basically the interactions between molecules. And so we can see that um, in nature, when if we were to be given a sample of matter, there can be many, many molecules in it. For example, if we're looking at a beak of water, we are looking at a whole lot of water molecules. And so these water molecules right here are interacting with each other. And that is known as the intermolecular forces. And please note that intermolecular forces are different than chemical bond. For an example, in a chemical bond, let's say we use water. The hydrogen and the oxygen are bonded together. And these are the chemical bond. And intermolecular forces are not as a not chemical bond. And in fact, the interactions in intermolecular force in intermolecular forces are much weaker compared to a chemical bond. So let's say here we now have one molecule of water and another water molecule of water. Or it can be a different molecule, a water molecule or a molecule of methanol or a different types of molecule. But two molecules, maybe of the same substance or different substance, they may now interact with each other. And this is known as intermolecular forces. And again, they are not chemical bonds. And they're much weaker, and therefore they may be broken. But then that, what intermolecular forces are. And intermolecular forces are abbreviated as IML. And again, they are the extractive forces between molecules and they're weaker than chemical bonds. So intermolecular forces plays a huge role in affecting the physical uh, states and physical properties of matter. So now let's discuss the physical state first. We know that at room temperature right now, there are different substances that exist in different physical states. For an example, we might have one substance that would exist as a solid versus water at room temperature, it exists as a liquid. And we can have a different substances that will be existing as a gas. So different types of substances exist at different physical states at room temperature. And have we ever asked ourselves why? Why does one substance exist as a solid at room temperature versus a different substance exists in a different physical state? Then the answer, it actually due to the strength of the intermolecular forces that that substance has. And um, intermolecular forces is actually temperature dependence, and that's something that we will discuss later. But let's say right now at room temperature. If we were to have a substance in which that there are very strong IMF among those, the molecules of that same substance, then that substance right there would very likely exist as a solid state. And similarly, if we were to now have a substance in which at room temperature that they have strong or moderate amount of IMF, then that substance right there may exist as a liquid. Versus if we were to have another substance in which now the amount of IMF that they have at room temperature is very weak, then very likely they would exist as a gaseous state. So that the importance of intermolecular forces in affecting the physical state of matter at, uh, at a particular temperature. And this will give you an example right here of how intermolecular forces may be temperature dependent. Let's look at an example of water. Water at very low temperature, it exists as a solid versus at room temperature, it exists as a liquid. And when we heat it up above 100 degrees Celsius, then now it would exist mostly as gases. So it can change from solid to liquid to gas. And the reason why is because as, it, as, we, as the temperature changes, the amount of the strength of the IMF can also change as well. But that is something that we will discuss later on a separate lecture. Okay, so, so what we have seen here is that the strength of the IMF 
can affect the physical state of matter. So thus it's important that we analyze, okay, so what do what can affect the strength of the IMF? And here are several the factors that can affect the strength of the IMF. First, the distance. How far are two molecules from each other? And we can see that if we were to be talking about the extraction between these two molecules right here, the closer these two molecules together, then the stronger the extraction will be. Versus the further that they are apart from each other, then the weaker their intermolecular force will be. So distance can play a role in affecting the strength of the IMF. And second, would be the types of IMF. It turned out that there are different ways how two molecules may interact with each other. And the ways how the molecule may interact with each other, we refer to this as the different types of IMF. And these are the different types of IMF right here. First, the dispersion force. Second, the dipole-dipole force. And third, the iron dipole. And lastly, the hydrogen bonding. So these are the four major and the four most important types of IMF that exist out there among different molecules. And so in the next lecture video, we will be going over each of these types of IMF in greater detail. But again, so these are the four ways how molecules may interact with each other. And depending on the strength of the IMF, or they affecting the physical state, IMF can also affect the physical property of matter as well. Such as melting point, boiling point, solubility, surface tension, and viscosity. Just to, few names, uh, to name a few examples. And generally speaking, the stronger the IMF among the molecule uh, of a substance, in a, of a substance, then the higher the melting point would be. And similarly, the stronger the IMF among the molecules, then the higher the boiling point of that substance would be, or the higher the solubility, and the higher the surface tension, and the higher the viscosity. So all of this uh, physical property right here are dependent on the strength of IMF. The stronger the type of IMF, then very likely all of this physical property right here would be higher as well.